Tonight, residents in North St. Louis County got to hear from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers about their efforts to clean up radioactive waste, including their most recent cleanup at Jana Elementary. Our Laura Barczewski talked with elected officials and affected families at tonight's meeting. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been working to clean up radioactive waste in several areas of St. Louis City and County. It's a product of St. Louis's role in building atomic weapons. Colonel Andy Panier says over the last few years, they've received millions of dollars in additional funding, allowing them to do more. We've been able to increase the size of our lab facility. We've been able to bring more contractors on site. And that allows us to do what we're going to see here, which is simultaneous operations today, so we can have multiple projects going on at one time. Recently, Paneer says they've been able to remove 850,000 cubic yards of waste from areas like under the McDonald Bridge, which will also be rebuilt. Right next to it, work is being done on what used to be the ball fields. This is all across from the St. Louis Airport site. Running right near these sites and all through North St. Louis County is Coldwater Creek, which is one of the biggest issues to tackle. These families are still suffering from cancers and illnesses caused by radioactive waste. I have over 30 now illnesses from a brain tumor to lesions on my spleen and liver and kidney. I've lost five children. My husband Jim lives on drug blood transfusions now. He is dying slowly of four different cancers related to being exposed to the creek. The families and even local officials who've been affected by radioactive waste have major concerns about these signs. The Army Corps of Engineers wants to put up all along Coldwater Creek, saying they don't signal the true danger of what was left behind decades ago. What do you think would be better to warn people that there's a danger? This? or that simple t-shirt. The government has known and we are asking for, for the government to step up and make right the damage that has been going on for decades. Reporting in Florissant, Laura Barczewski, five on your side. Next steps for the area, the Army Corps says they will focus on cleanup in the Cades Cove neighborhood in Florissant. And advocates from North County were back in Washington, D.C. today. Just Moms STL was campaigning for compensation for victims of radioactive waste. They were hoping to get a meeting with House Speaker Mike Johnson today. Senator Josh Hawley joined the advocates, criticizing the speaker for not taking the meeting. The Radiation Exposure Compensation Act, also called RECA, expired last week. Advocates like Just Moms STL are hoping the House will prioritize a version of RECA that would provide compensation for affected people in our area.